Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at the Chris Ramsey Memento Mori deck. These were actually the first playing cards he designed, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding them and the recent revisions. But first, let's get to the fun part, the deck in action. <laughs> Well, that was fun, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, please smash like. So what about all that controversy? Well, these are the original Memento Mori cards from 2016. They were designed by Chris Ramsey while he worked at Murphy's Magic, alongside the graphic designer Adrian Valenzuela. However, it's my understanding that Chris made most of the significant design choices. He had the Memento Mori concept, he had the idea of skulls and their placement on the card. In fact, the skull on the cards was made in the shape of Chris's own head. Plus, you see his logo all over the place. But the next year, in 2017, after Chris left Murphy's Magic, they released a new version of the deck that was all blue. Essentially, they removed Chris's logo and, well, made all the cards blue. Not much else was changed. Chris was not too happy about this for some specific reasons, and he published a reaction video to his YouTube channel. And honestly, I can see his points. It's a long topic, and if you want to know all the details, I'll put a link to his full video in the description below. It's actually pretty interesting. Fast forward to 2018, Murphy's Magic releases a new deck called Memento Mori NXS. This time, although the concept was largely the same, at least the artwork was different and updated. It seemed like an actual sequel rather than just a blue recolor. I have to admit, the artwork on these cards looks pretty pretty cool. I'm not sure how Chris Ramsey feels about them, he didn't make a reaction video this time, but I imagine he's not super excited about them, although at the same time probably less offended than the blue version. At least the NXS looks decent, and they didn't just completely remove the color palette that Chris worked carefully to select, but that's just my guess. A funny side effect to all this, if you look on Instagram at the time when Murphy's Magic released this deck, there's a lot of negative comments from Ramsey's fans, criticizing the cards as just another remake and using Ramsey's name even though he's not there. On the other hand, Murphy's Magic does own the intellectual property, and whoever runs the Instagram account at Murphy's Magic was quick at action, responding to every single criticism with witty deflection, trying to stay positive. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure who's right and wrong in the situation. And enough of the drama! Now let's take a look at the cards. So here we have the box. As you can see, it has some very strong dramatic embossing. Each of these blocks really juts out and feels quite nice on the side and on the back. It's a very minimalist design, all white otherwise. The top is also white. The bottom... Now this is interesting. The first print of this had both Chris Ramsey logo and Murphy's Magic, like this. This must be a reprint because now they have completely removed Chris Ramsey's logo. Very interesting. Alright, let's get into the cards themselves. So you open the tuck flap and it says Memento Mori, which means to remember death, which is the concept of these cards. Oh yeah, and nothing special on the inside. So the concept of this deck, Memento Mori, means that we should remember death. The idea being that if death is inevitable, we should focus on enjoying the lives that we have right now. 
And as you can see, this is quite a nice design. I really like the colors. In fact, this reminds me a little bit of the Magic Con 2012 deck by Dan and Dave Buck, which I have not had a chance to review yet. But if you look at these cards and the color palette used, it's, I don't know, it reminded me of it. I guess you could say it's similar. What do you think? A quick look at the cards. You can see the colors. I'll go through in more detail in a second, but just want to give you a brief overview. But how did the cards handle? Well, I'm sure they handle great, just like any deck printed by the USPCC. Here is a thumb fan straight out of the box, and you can see it looks rather nice. Nice and smooth. Yep, they feel fine, just like I would expect. And let's check out the farrowing. Oh yeah, nice and easy. Should make for a beautiful giant fan. Now that's really nice. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Also, I could tell these cards are made with a modern cut instead of a traditional cut because of the fact that out of the box they so easily farrow in this direction from top to bottom. Going the other way works too, but it's going to require a little more breaking in before they go quite as easily. Now if you try to do a thumb fan on the other hand, which I'm not really good at, you get mostly kind of a white blank look. But from this side, super nice. The extra cards for this deck include two jokers featuring Chris Ramsey's logo and a really cool card that explains, in Chris Ramsey's words, the history of all this stuff. You can pause the video if you want to read all of it. And lastly, we have a grayscale version of the back design, which is an ad card. And by the way, don't bother clicking on this link, because I went there and there's no extra information aside from that history card that you just saw. It's only a waste of your time. Taking a look at the court cards, we have the jacks here. And you can see they have a one-way face design, yellow on one side, purple, pink on the other. It's a low poly count design, and it looks really nice. The queens have the same kind of concept going on. The kings and the aces. As you would expect, the ace of spades is the one with the extra large design. And the standard cards are not standard at all. As you see, all four suits. The only thing I noticed is it's a little difficult to tell black cards apart from red cards because the color choices. So in summary, yeah, I think these cards are pretty cool. Um, they're definitely some of my favorite design that I've seen in a long time. I think they look really nice in thumb fans and the box is really elegant. Yeah, I like it. Which Memorial Minty is your favorite deck? The original? the blue one, or the NXS? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, smash like and smash subscribe too. And I'll see you in the next video. Why am I talking like this? I don't know, goodbye.